Hey there, this is Rajiv from WordPress Profit Systems. Thank you for watching today again. So what we're going to show you today is how to add a pop-up on WordPress. I have actually added pop-ups on different websites and it really increases your conversion rates, your opt-in rates by easy 30 to 40 percent so this is a real real cool stuff that you can apply in your business obviously in this particular instance I'm gonna use um, a webber but you need to learn the principles there's so many pop-up plugins that you can have on the market out there but the reason I'm using a webber is because it's easy to install and it has got built-in um, themes and um, it's quite reasonably priced as well so let's just get straight into it if you can hear Brewster's in the background just so you know that I'm in beautiful Mauritius right now so that's you know the climate and that's how it is in the rural area so you go in your Aweber account you click on my lists create a new list um, so that's a new list we're gonna call that so let's call that test test IT test it um, no IT sec okay so list description whatever you know it's a test now th this is important because every time you can send a follow-up or broadcast message to that list the from name is going to appear so you can put your full name put your the email address that you want the from address to be and then sometimes you know you would like to know every time somebody signs up to that opt-in to that particular list you would like to know about it so you send the notifications to that email address I'm sending that to my secondary email address because I don't want you know I get so many signs up sign ups every day so um, I would have my inbox full next thing is personalize you can put your your company branding and all that you can always come back and do it later so I will pass on that for now now this is very important in general I turn I turn this off uh, you can turn it on depending on the type of uh, website that you build and the type of business that you have in this particular instance I don't really need a double opt-in for those who don't know what a double opt-in is like I'm sure you have put your name and email address somewhere and then this thank you page tells you to check your inbox and then you see an email from the autoresponder then you click on the link it tells you you know you have you need to verify etc then you click on the link and then you get verified and then you get back to a thank you page and then you get your content delivered right so in this particular instance the main thing that we're doing is uh, we want somebody to put their name and email address and they will go to a thank you page straight away so uh, there's something that we need to turn off here this you know it says require opt-in on web forms an opt-in or a double opt-in so it says we strongly recommend leaving confirmed opt-in on so this is for people who don't know this is what we just mentioned so in this particular instance I will turn it off um, somebody's trying to Skype me so I'll just put do not disturb so are you sure you want to disable I'll say yes right so you would have put a confirmation page here if uh, you had used the you had left it on so then you would put your thank you page here so that's done I'll click on save so I'm, I've created the list you know on on your autoresponder you, you on your list management system you can have various different lists that go on different sites from different sources etc so I'll go on web forms and create a new form now for that particular list um, no I called it something else I called it IT sec did I not call it IT sec ah now there's a problem I think this is the list it didn't get saved Uh oh no that's not the one we called the IT sec explained I don't think so and uh, never mind so, yeah I just showed you how to create the list so 
what I'll I'll just delete this existing form. I've tested it already before, so I'll delete this one. So say you created the list, the list called IT Sec Explained. It's the same thing. Yeah, I'll um, let me just show you list settings. ItSecuritExplained.com personalize it has been turned off here I guess um, is it on so I'll turn this off okay yes so we disable this so we save that remember the list name so that's ITSEC explained ITSEC exp so go back on web forms we'll create the list we'll create the form now So you can see this is a bit, um, there's loads of templates that you can use here. So it gives you, you know, this is the good thing about your web, it gives you the, those templates. They can just plug and play. Um, there's tons here, so it could be my templates. Uh, see, that's the one. Nice. Submit button. So evergreen, so I start. See, so we could make it green because our theme on IT security explains a bit greenish. So that would be cool. So now in the header we could say, for example, um, sign up for our free video training. Yeah. Click on save. Um, you can resize this, whatever you know. Right. So next thing is what you need to do. We're going to use this form as a pop-up. Right. You could you can use this form directly on your website, as in you can uh, embed it on your website, and it appears as a normal form the way it is or you can use it as a pop-up so in this particular instance we will use it as a pop-up right so the next thing is to state the type of um, this form so it's not in line it's a pop up okay what does it say pop-ups opens in a new window blocks no I don't like that I want a pop over so it comes in the same window and the advanced settings is it displays once for testing purposes I'll leave that to always display but on this one I will just leave it and say always yeah always display for now and if I say save and I'll go to the next settings when somebody has actually opted in I want them to go to my custom thank you page so that will be itsecurityexplains.com forward slash thank you here you go so um, I click on save here that's done somebody signs up as soon as they put in the name and email address it will go directly to the thank you page if I had left the opt-in the double opt-in there it would have gone you know a message would have come up and said go to your inbox put you click on this link and then verify and then they would have come here so in this particular case we'll go directly um, now yes this is the 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 new thing I want to show you you can actually place an opt-in to achieve this but in this particular instance I want you to I want to teach you something a little bit more advanced as we have played a lot with the the plugins so in this one I'll show you how to place this script directly on the codes right so uh, how do we do this we can either place it it says somewhere here if you do the research on how to place this um, if you go and help and type how to place pop-ups and stuff just type pop-ups you will see it tells you need to place it under just under the body tag 
So in this particular instance, I will go to the editor of this theme. I'll go to it can be in the header, in the footer, or in the index page. So let me just try the header, right? And I'll find the body tag. So this is the first body tag. So it tells you it needs to be just after the body tag. So copy paste and I've got it here. If I click on update technically if I refresh this page this should the form should be appearing. Let's see if we didn't miss anything. And here you go the form appears. Yes of course uh, you need to make this match but it doesn't at the moment. So you can always play with the um, can play with the form you can say for instance you know you can play with the design if you want it a bit more greenish less greenish whatever uh, you can you can play with it I think here you know light screen lighter green whatever you, know. you can play with it um, that's one thing then you can also this bit you can remove it if you want. Don't want you know a web email marketing. Actually, you can put your. I think you can put your affiliate link here. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, you can remove that. Say I'll remove it. This is important. You leave that so you can resize it, make it larger. However you you like it. So click on save, and if you refresh here you should see the changes straight away right so easy we showed you how to place a pop-up now what I need to do is make sure when you finish you turn this button uh, you click on what's the body no, type form type we need to say it displays only once otherwise every time someone comes on your site they will see the same pop-up so let's just test it test it test it test whatever you know test right. submit click on submit this should go to the thank you page and here you go we're here All right so uh, as you can see this form appeared again so what we need to do is display once and uh, save it. So now if I click on home page, this appears here. Yeah? So let me just refresh. Shouldn't appear now because I've closed it. Here you go, it works. Now by, by just creating this new page, I have, um, yeah, I've showed you how to add the pop-up. You can always, you know, like like I've been saying, you need to learn the principles. So in this particular instance, we've used a webber. You could have used another pop-up plugin from a free one. You know, there's loads. You just need to go and and look for them. And at the end of the day, you want to take the name and email address. You want that name and email address to be put in a list, and you can plug in an autoresponder, a follow-up system on that list and from time to time you can send a broadcast to that particular list. That's it and by, by adding a pop-up you can increase your conversions easily by by at least 30%. Okay so next thing that I will show you now is um, you see this menu that we have here. We don't want that type of title like I don't want the thank you page to appear I don't want the this long title to appear here so in in some themes you can go to the menu the menu editor here and create a particular theme and uh, you know you can remove whatever pages you can remove that for instance if I say remove in in some type of some or generally most of the themes will support this menu well this um, functionality in like in the menus but this particular theme 
it says that the current theme does not natively support menus so it doesn't support if we change it here it's not going to make any difference here so to bear in mind if you have a different theme and you've got this menu problem the first place you need to look is here if you can change it here then that's cool if you can't then the next thing is we go and find a solution in the plugins like I said there's always solutions to problems in plugins right so let's go and click on uh, install plugins and find exclude menu for instance or exclude pages whatever you know Did I click on search? Uh, exclude pages. Yeah. Install now. Activate plugin. So, what this does is it puts a checkbox on the pages and, and, and will ask the user, will ask you if you want to actually display or not include this page in the list no include this page in the list of pages no we leave it so it won't include but uh, it will show the default ones contact excellent so by default it shows these ones and it's been removed hey we've just uh, showed you how to deal with this uh, menu problem excellent so next thing I wanted you to see how to ping uh, website you know what every time you you have just updated your blog you would like to you would like Google to know you would like all the um, websites etc to know about it all the, the crawl machines all the robots all the big indexing sites on the web to know about your new blog or your new blog post etc so for example you could use pingomatic you can use pingoat.com just go on Google and and find ping websites etc you get loads of them so in this particular case you have typed pingomatic.com and you know you just come in here and then you click on check all and it selects all these sites and it will ping them basically it will send them a signal telling them that you have just updated your blog or sites and it's recommended that you do it every day or every time you update your website to tell them hey I've just updated my website tell everyone you know come and index come and get the content if you've got any questions as usual you can um, send me an email on rajivkis2 at gmail.com if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe to my channel and you can leave your comments below if you're watching this from the WordPress Profit Systems Free Edition then you can always leave your comments I'll be happy to reply and also thank you for all our uh, subscribers who leave you know who send me emails asking me questions and giving me feedback about the videos and um, until the next one take care and bye bye